Welcome to examsavi.com. In last session, we have seen how to install Keel version 4, and in that, once installation is over, now to open that Keel version. So, now we'll see how an embedded C coding we can compile using Keel version 2, version 4. Okay, after once installation is over, just open the version whatever you have installed after opening that it will open like this with some example but for creating a new project you should click project then in that new project after opening new project it will be looking like this in that you need to create your particular project name for example if you are creating a project so in that you need to give main project name so here i am giving project as project name after typing the project just save once your project name is created it will be asking which which device you are using which database you are using for 8051, I'm using Atmel. Click here in Atmel. Just press plus symbol. In that, I'm right now I'm going to use 8051. So for that, I'm using at at 89C51. So this you need to select. So here it will show 8051 based fully static 24 megahertz CMOS controller with 32 input output lines with two timers and counters six interrupts you are three level program memory four kilobytes flash memory 128 bytes on chip ram so by selecting this you just give ok so it will ask copy startup dot a51 to project folder whatever you have created and whatever you have created so for that a startup code will be added so it will add the file to project before we have created one new project called project so it is showing project that is our project name so just give is yes. so here it is already exist so in this we, I have used so many times so it is showing it is already exist it is asking over right now okay you can give yes after selecting all those things you can see one target is created target and source group so and startup code because it has asked you want startup code so i have given yes so here it is created after creating all those things just go to the file menu in that select new go to file and select new it will open one new file so from here you can start typing your coding here i'm going to type one simple program how LED is glowing single LED I am taken single LED so how it is glowing I am taking this program as an example for 8051 this header file I have taken the header file ash include register 51.h so the main use of this header file is all special function register addresses and declarations will be present in this header file so I am going to take one single LED so for that I am giving sbit LED as a variable I'm giving port 0 port 0 in port 0 I'm giving 0 pin for LED of 8051 so in this program I'm going to use one delay program for that I'm just declaring I'm just informing that I'm going to create one delay
and the program execution will start from main in this what i'm going to do i'm just making the led to glow from off to on so for that initially i'm making led equal to zero then i'm giving some delay of one millisecond i'm just giving a delay of one millisecond and i'm making in order to view from off to on state i'm just giving a led as zero to view so far at that i'm given one millisecond as delay and once again to see off off to on state from now it will on when i give led equal to one so now it will be viewed as on state because there is a delay so from off to on we can see whether led is off or on and once again to view this on state i'm giving a delay of one millisecond so we have used delay so for that i'm going to write a delay function whatever the delay whatever the delay whatever the delay i passed here so i am catching with this variable d this is the function definition for delay here i am creating one more variable called unsigned int integer with variable i i am going to rotate a loop for loop in that i am not declaring anything i am not initializing for that variable delay that delay is greater than 0 d plus plus i am just rotating a loop for generating delay for generating 1 millisecond delay i have ta taken i equal to 245 and that is greater than 0 245 is greater than 0 here i've given dummy for loop here this is a dummy for loop so it will act once the condition is failed so from 245 to 0 it will be running and it will enter into next for loop one more for loop is the same So same for loop. In order to generate one millisecond delay, I am rotating two for for loop, which is dummy for loop. So it will come down. This for loop will come down when it reaches zero. When i value reaches zero, so zero greater than zero, that time this loop will ends and it comes to next for loop. The same condition for this also. So it will also execute up to zero. Once it reaches zero, then it comes down. This is our program for just on from off to on how led is glowing just a simple program i'm going to save this save this i'm going to save it as led because it's a led whatever you want with that name you can say save this is an embedded c program so i'm saving with dot c extension right now my program is saved after saving we need to include that program to this target so here you just come to source group and right click and add new i new ex, sorry and add existing files to group source one whatever you have created the led.c program you just want to add this to source group so you just click add existing files to group source one so we have our program already we need to add that to this group just give add once you can see here if it is added then then close it once you have added your program, here the arrow mark will show us here. If, if this arrow mark is not there, this LED will, will not be included to this source group. So if, if arrow mark is there, then it shows that it is related to source group 1. So you click this and just save one more time. And you can start building target of your file. If you click this particular symbol, it will be showing so compiling your project and showing zero errors and one warning one war warning is not a big problem so once there is no error it seems your program is successfully compiled 
here this down bar we can see rebuild target 1 your target 1 is start compiling target 1 is in that our file is led.c so it, it has been started compiling once compilation is over it will show zero errors and one warning so in our program there is no errors it is showing successfully compile so once successfully compile here we have given a led to port 0 port 0 so in that 0th pin so it's 0th pin of 8051 is connected to led 0th pin of port 0 of 8051 is connected to led so for checking that you need to go peripherals so before going to peripheral you want to give this d d symbol just start or stop debugging session once you click debugging it will ask running the code size limit with 2k just give ok after giving it will open like this then here we have one more symbol if you click this it will start executing so after clicking this here there is a red mark it seems this code is executing currently then go to peripherals then go for io ports in that port 0 check 0th pin it is or it is showing that on and off this click mark indicates this bit is connected this pin is connected to led and it is flowing from 0 to 1 so from f f e to f of it seems that led is glowing 0th pin of port 0 is glowing continuously on and off it we can view the difference on and off because our delay is 1 millisecond because of that delay it is showing this much delay so from here we can see our led is glowing so this is the coding for led glow after checking your condition you can stop this red mark and you can click one more time to stop execution to stop debugging you can give this once again D. so this is the procedure how to check a program output in keel version 4 and thank you for watching this video.